Hello Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing a second part to Farm RPG. Uh, at the time of filming this video, within the last like month or two I think, I'm not really sure when this came out, but they added a new thing called Millworms. And what you can do with those is you put them as your bait, and it basically just spams the crap out of your screen with fish. And you do not need to push the blue button that kind of bounces back and forth. <clears throat> so we're going to take a look on how to do that. Kind of works pretty much how my first video did, which I'll link, which just does work with the blue button, kind of. It's a little buggy, but that's fine. It makes it less harder for that to do. This is obviously for educational purposes only, uh, just to teach you. It's not a competitive game, that kind of stuff. Always read the term and services, just in case you get banned. Um, so I got Farm RPG open here, but we're going to take a look at the code first. So yeah, uh, basically we're just going to kind of run through this. Everything in here I've done videos on if you want to, you know, manipulate it, you know, look for the command. Like if you want to understand mouse get position a little better, just search for those videos on my channel. I'm just going to kind of run through this and show you the stuff that you actually need to understand. <clears throat> so I don't have a hotkey on this. Uh, for the beginning part, we're basically just going to get an input box, which is just a pop-up where you can type in a number. And it's just asking you, catch amount uh, as the title of the screen, and it's going to say, how much fish do you to catch? Just put a number in there. It can be like 100, whatever. That's basically how many times it's going to loop before it stops. Uh, once it stops, it resets, and then you can put another 100 in there if you want to keep going, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's going to say a tool tip. And this is just kind of a guide to show you how to set this up. <clears throat> so it's going to say, put mouse in top left corner of pond and press F1. Uh, obviously, I'm going to show you all this in action at the end of the video so you can understand a little bit better how it actually works. So we're going to press F1 on our keyboard. That's our hotkey. Obviously, you can change this to whatever you want if you want it to be, you know, Shift S or whatever. F2, F, you know, 12. It's so whatever you want, but I always use just F1 because I never use that for anything, really. Uh, first thing it's going to do is when you press F1, it sees that you haven't got the first coordinates, so it's going to get the position of where your mouse is, and you're just going to be doing that top left corner of the pond or whatever you're fishing in. Once again, you'll see that here live, understand a little bit better. It's going to give you a new tool tip, which is just a little black bar with some text in it, and it's going to say, put mouse in the bottom right corner and press F1. So what we're doing here is we're creating a square around the pond so it knows where to search, where to click. It's going to get that position, save it as these variables. It's then going to get rid of the tooltip. It's going to wait five seconds just to give you, you know, five seconds to, you know, step away from your computer, not accidentally press anything. Um, and then it's going to kick off with your loop. Loop just means it's just going to keep doing it. As you see, it's got a variable here, how much catch. That's whatever number you put up here in the input box. So if you have 100, it's going to loop 100 times. And what we're doing is a pixel search. We're looking for the color black uh, with a 90 variation. So because the pond has a bit of a blue on it, it you know, it's not quite... The fish aren't like 100% the color black. So we're just looking for something that's at least some shade of black in that box that we created for us. And we just got it set to fast. That just means it's going to little use a little bit more CPU usage, but it's not going to be too bad. Like, you probably won't even notice any lag. Uh, something to point out also is because we're doing a pixel search, your window with Farm RPG does need to be in focus. So you just kind of have to run it and just, you know, walk away, go to the bathroom, cook some food, whatever you got going on. Do some chores. That's what I do. <laughs> Uh, we're just doing some basic math here, so we're not clicking on the corner of the fish. We're trying to aim more for the middle to make it a little bit more accurate. And then it's going to do a mouse click, and it's got the coordinates from where it found that black, uh, you know, pixel up there. And it's going to click on the fish. <clears throat> it's then going to sleep for 250 milliseconds. Uh, honestly, I would play around with this, maybe make it a little bit slower, uh, cause 250 milliseconds is a little fast for a human to do, and that might look a little weird, uh, on their end. Their terms and services aren't 
100 percent clear but on there they say you know hey this is not competitive play play we're not really going to do much but you could always get banned so like i said this is you know purely educational uh and then in tool tip it's just going to say all done you know letting you know it ran that 100 times that you wanted it to it's going to wait three seconds and it's going to reload the script which just means it's going to take you back up to the message box where you can enter your new number or do the same number uh, at any point if you wanted to just in you know you're doing it a hundred times but then you get a message on facebook and you want to check it right away but you're only at like 50 you can just push f2 and that will automatically stop the loop and reload the script to have it ready for when you want to continue after you answer your mom wanting to know why you're not visiting for thanksgiving this year um so yeah <clears throat> pretty simple script like I said, really the only thing here you're going to want to really truly play with is your sleeps, uh, kind of making them a little higher. I did do a video uh, about a year ago where I talk about how to make your script seem more human. I'll link that in the description below if you want to add to that and make it a little bit more human-like. Basically what I would look at is the randomized sleeps where you can have uh, another line right above the sleep that randomizes how often. Maybe on the first loop, it's 250 milliseconds, but on the next loop, maybe it's one second. It makes it seem more human, because a human cannot push, cannot click on the fish every 250 seconds or milliseconds exactly. That looks very shady. Um, so, yeah, randomizing this might be a good idea. I'll link that in the description below so you can check that out. Add what kind of features you want to make it more human. So that's pretty much it for this. We are going to go ahead and jump over to the website and see it in action. All right, let's go ahead and run our script. It is right there. All right, there's our input box that we were talking about. So you'll understand here is the website. I'm kind of zoomed in a little bit just so you can read stuff better. But we're going to be using the mealworms. Basically, the mealworms allow you to get rid of that blue thing, and it kind of spams your screen really fast. Uh, you know, just read here, it's single tap manual fishing. Uh, it will not count toward your streak. I know a lot of people are really into that whole earning that achievement or whatever it's called, and apparently fish love these. So that's a good thing. So yeah, let's jump back to that script here. Uh, we'll just put in the number, I don't know, 100 for now. Why not? We're going to push OK. There is that little tooltip. I, I said it was black. It's actually white. Made that mistake. Put mouse in top left corner of the pond and press F1. Well, we need to get back, so I'm going to select my mealworms. It's checked. We're good to go. And now we're going to go back to fishing. Uh, you got to scroll up sometimes a little bit and to return to fishing. Now we're going to press F1 up here in the corner. It doesn't have to be exact. I do find using control mouse uh, to zoom. Ooh, that's a little bit too much of a zoom. To make it a little bit more square, seems to work a little bit better. Play around with that. So I'm going to go put it up here. It doesn't have to be exact. F1. Put the mouse in the bottom right corner of the pond and press F1. So we're going to go down here and we're going to press F1. Hands in the air like you just don't care. Waits, uh, I think it was three seconds I said. And there we go. As you see, here's my hands. Like I said, play around with the um, sleeps. It's probably better to randomize it. You know, this is an educational visit video. Um, you know, read the terms of service and whatnot. It is a non-competitive game, but, you know, people still don't like this stuff. Um, but you can use this in other ways, too, for automating lots of stuff. This is just a fun little way to show you how to do that kind of stuff there it goes there's that little thing saying all done it reloaded it now it's asking me if i want to catch you know however many more and yeah and that is pretty much it if you have any questions let me know the code is linked to pastebin in the bottom and i will see you all on the next video see ya